All right, so I play the intro. Let's go. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. You know, for a man who was okay. <laughs> last minute of this investigation and only has until he said tomorrow morning. Yeah. To figure it out. He already knows a lot. That is a <laughs> lot of info to take in. So hold on. Let me see if I can summarize what we just heard. Yep. This girl is a PhD student. Yep. Kate. Smart, happy, fun loving, but But also has a dark side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was the other thing? Uh Depression? I read I remember they said she had some morphine in the system, so I don't know, could be drug related. Okay, yeah. Supposedly, well, I mean, cause of death was drowning in a lake. They suspect it was suicide, but he doesn't think so, so that's the whole yeah. part of the game now. Yeah. License on the other side, she goes to Atlas. This was some and son. life skills training course thing. Yeah, exactly, which is questionable. Yep. And they uh, understandably wanted to distance themselves. But could but she came from that meeting, right? So they said she came from that meeting that night. Mm -hmm. Or she was at that meeting the night she died. Uh yeah, I think they said after the meeting. Yeah. And so they uh, could so have been one of the last few people to see, huh? Yeah. So there were like three people that they also noted out the one of the guys, his wife, um, mm -hmm. the one who owns the pub, the friend, a very close friend of Kate's, and also the friend's boyfriend, I think. No, no, the was guy. she a close friend of Kate's or they just said she went to the same university? I... I, I don't know. I guess we just have to find they're out. They're pretty confused. Yeah, they're really confused. Oh, there's, there's like a huge info dump, you know, in one shot. <laughs> so, okay, I don't know. Unmoved. Case background like info. Right Let's see let's what this go, is. The victim, Kate. Okay, okay, yeah. So basically this is what we were talking about. So she was a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake... The lab re report indicated high level of alcohol in the blood, along with traces of morphine and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Consistent with medical records, reveal a history of depression and alcoholism. Yeah, yep. depression and alcoholism. The origin of the morphine remains a mystery. Mm -hmm. 
Atlas. So Kate has joined a controversial business course called Atlas. She's been attending the course on the night of a. Okay, so yeah, she was attending the course on a, on the night of a death, and the course is run by father and son Paul and Ryan. Paul and Ryan Rand. Mm-hmm. Both were interviewed, but neither could have seen Kate after the meeting, and they want to distance themselves. Okay. This is the first time Alice has been investigated. Oh, okay. So I guess they have a history of something. Rumors have been circulating for years surrounding Atlas that have the questionable, questionable methods, which suggests on mind control. I'm oh. thinking because they mentioned mind control. If she had depression and alcoholism, it's possible that she turned to that sort of uh, whatever business philosophy that to course, try and get yeah. out of it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so maybe they've known her for a long time. So Rebecca Ren, she's married to Ryan, landlady of the pub. The George and the pub the pub is called George and Dragon okay sorry hold on which <laughs> one's Ryan again the father or the son uh the son yeah yeah okay, okay. yeah the pub is uh the pub is the hub of the village the pub is the hub and yeah given she has a history of alcoholism so she's likely to have visited the pub yeah Simon and Emma one of Kate's friends from college was Emma okay. Bowman who lives with her boyfriend Simon at the Eden Lodge on the so, road to the woods yeah so That's Simon she Thompson she died at the lake so oh, I don't know the lake near the woods? probably I mean yeah, I assume there's a lake <laughs> the lake would be somewhere in a woody <laughs> area <laughs> alright uh, okay so Simon met Emma after university or at university after completing his degree he went to work in a neighbouring village Emma was shocked to hear of Kate's death she didn't attend Atlas but Simon joined Simon claimed he didn't see Kate after the meeting but seem unmoved by her death so that's suspicious there Simon that Suss that is suspicious <laughs> Simon Suss Simon is very sus but I feel like that's a bit of a red herring I mean he could have been unmoved for any number of reasons maybe he just didn't like her like something happened between them maybe yeah there could be a history there that we have to figure out as well okay, so, so the in- later. instructions yeah so Kate Vine drowned in the lake last Friday night the game starts one week later Friday at 5pm so you can guide Jenks so Detective Jenks Around the village. Guy jerks around the village. I was like, <laughs> why would I want to do that? <laughs> you can follow the direction arrows. Okay, yeah, basically, yeah, press and click. Okay. When you're waiting at a location, you can open your inventory and scroll left and right to view your collected items. If you think you can use an item, try by pressing it. Okay. You see the magnifying glass, it means Jenks has something interesting. Has seen something interesting. interesting. So press the investigate button to see to see Jenks find out what it is alright at some location you'll find one of the villagers you can interview after Jenks introduces himself you get the opportunity to ask them about items in your inventory okay so okay that would be interesting here yeah. so simply select the item you want Jenks to ask about when they reply the bar beneath your inventory shows a summary of the reply okay so I guess that like the viewing Emma thing that probably changes over time and yeah, so this is the main part of the game. You got to start looking for contradictions. Mm. So they might say something, but you have proof of them actually doing something else. And you got to right. contradict them. If you get stuck, first make sure you've asked everyone about the items in your inventory. Then make a visit to the call box in West Lane. Jenks will speak to the chief inspector. And you should get a clue as to what to do next. Okay. All right, let's start the game. Let's go. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector. Oh wait, Fred I think this is the uh, and I've is repeating. Been to a last <laughs> yeah. minute investigation. All right, since we saw the introduction, we are Rebecca's pub. Good Welcome to the village. Time. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, all right. Click on the inventory icon. Yep. So okay, so yes. shall we go to the pub? Yeah, let's go to the pub. I mean, I'm always down to go to the pub. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess nobody <laughs> answered. <laughs> we got rejected by the pub. Or oh, maybe it's too early. It. Maybe it's, it's still so too early. It's so anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go left then. Alright, let's go West, left. Street. West Street. Paul and Ryan ran. Oh. Go behind. down behind Brandon House. Brandon. Uh, Sure. Oh, hello, hi, Jenks. hi, Jenks. Uh, okay, I guess we can't do anything as well. So, so when when you're standing here, you can't like 
move around or look around? Uh, nope. It's just what you see is what you get. Yeah, I can't like drag or see around. So this is the garage door, of some sort. So, okay, right now I just have Kate's driving license. And this use this. I can't driven. use this here. There's no use for Kate's license here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he just points at the garage door and the like, open. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, so this is the map. Alright. Oh, okay, wait, we're supposed to go and see Simon first, right? So that's right, at the right. Eden Lodge here. We are over here. So we got to make our way there. All the way back up. Alright. Better do a spot of investigation around the Eden Lodge. Yep. Okay, that's just here. Yeah. Alright, so let's back. Where let's was head the back down. Sign? I think you can click on the pins. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah, alright. It's there a fast go. travel. So go to Eden Lodge. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait. Magnifying glass. Oh yeah, good catch. Okay, a bicycle. Bicycle. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like homebrew equipment. Ah, uh, okay. this might come in handy. Is he just stealing the screwdriver? <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened because uh, the thing lagged out for a bit. He just found a oh, screwdriver wait. in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't see that part? I just saw the bike and then I saw it change screen and then it got stuck to me. Oh, what okay. Happened? Uh, Yeah, so you see that red bucket over here? There's like bottles inside there. So he found a screwdriver in there and he decided to just take it for some reason. <laughs> Alright. The bike is on. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. He seems so sus. He does. Is that checking outside? Was he followed or something? You know? uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. It's only been a week. Is it okay? Else? Oh, this will be fine. Yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, no, no. I won't be long. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> no, I just said. It's been a week and yet they all seem very okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What Your you first interview. There's a death in the village. <laughs> <laughs> Pick an item you want to ask, and then click ask. Oh, okay. You see what Jenks asks, and then when you've heard the reply, you see a summary of what was said at the bottom. Okay. Click an click any item you've asked about. No, okay. All right. Unlock bicycle. Since that was the first Find thing we thing. noticed. Nice way to uh, start off a conversation. Sure. Yeah, let's see the Yeah, let's uh, break the ice then. Is there a reason why they're all colored differently? Like the screwdriver is red and Kate's driving license is green. It doesn't, it doesn't work. work. Okay. I guess this is the main thing we came here to ask him about, about Kate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or I guess but it should be Kate's death. But okay, yeah, let's just start with the bicycle then. Yeah. Who's the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to find a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And um, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. Okay, so the bike belongs to his cousin, and there's the only way he can get to work. All right. Uh, let's ask about the bottles, then. Sure. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Hmm. James. That seems like it's going to end up being a contradiction. Maybe. Simon's mm. homebrew. Simon explained that he makes homebrew. Okay. If you click on Simon's homebrew, does you ask him what it's about? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't ask it again. <laughs> I gotta say something about Jenks. Yeah. Doesn't he just remind you of like a British Jim Carrey with like all of his expressions? 
Yeah, he seems he's so like animated. Man. Yeah, he's like, hey, so what's with all the bottles outside? <laughs> oh, I make them. Um, I make. I make bomb pills. Oh, okay, for yourself. <laughs> all right, man, calm, calm down. <laughs> I'm very sneaky for a detective. All right, let's let's get into the big things. Let's go. All right, let's talk about Kate. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? What sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to meetings sometimes. She would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it was just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay. Thanks. Okay, there was a lot there. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, at one point I paused there, but I think I got everything. Um, I'm just thinking now, he just said that there's more than one group. For Atlas? So it's, yeah, so it's very possible that he may not have been... I mean, I guess we'd have to talk to the people who run the Atlas meeting, but yeah. it's very possible that he could have been in a different group that night and just wasn't at the meeting. Maybe. Maybe. His driving right. license is in green, so I guess that's the big one we have to ask him. I I don't know. This only known kid for three months. I, I feel like I we heard or, or uh, read something that that he knew her longer like more than three months right i i mean when i heard that i was just thinking like in her medical records the whole alcoholism and depression thing was you know pretty deep seated like it's an old problem and he's yeah yeah so fun and happy and cheery to everybody else and if he's only known her for three months in that time he already knew about the things that like she's been reeking and stuff that doesn't seem too congruent but i mean you know to see. Uh, hold on. I just clicked those, but nothing happened. So okay, it's fine. Uh, let's just ask about the license then. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. That was sus. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't know anything about the license. Hmm. Okay. He's never seen it before. I mean, so yeah, you I know about her alcoholism and depression, but you've never seen her driving license, alright? Let's see, yeah. what else could we ask? So he doesn't know anything about a license. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess there's nothing to contradict there. Yeah, does it automatically show up, the contradicting statement? No, we have to choose. So like, these are the options. For each um, category, there are options that come up. So we got to choose the options that need to contradict each other. So it could be an uh, option in Kate Vine's depth, this category, that could contradict with something that he said about something about the license, you know? Like, so it could okay, be like, right. we have to go through everything and see what contradicts each other. Okay, okay. So, okay, in well, terms of asking him, we've asked him everything that we can. Yeah, I think it's quite early. We might have to go visit Emma first. Yeah. All right, I guess let's do that. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only no a few fast. questions. Yeah. Okay, so let's just ask her about Kate. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just... Kate being Kate, you know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? 
Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Okay. Okay. You heard all of that, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard all that. So I guess she's, yeah, she was argumentative. So she, her character is like that, but she had a drinking problem where she got drunk like in the afternoon itself. Right, but then she, she saw Kate last Thursday. Down. Yeah, she, she cut, cut down. down. Maybe she, she maybe she relapsed, and that could have caused the, you know, maybe she ex maybe. Maybe she had an accident from there. You didn't see Kate very often, but she saw her last Thursday. Does that contradict? How do I wait? I guess it doesn't contradict. Mm. No. She appeared her usual self. Appeared her usual, usual self, and didn't see Kate very often. No. Nope, nothing happened. Let's, yeah, well, let's ask about analysis. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess we can't really get much info from her license. It's not something that people would know. Mm, okay. Unlocked bike. Sure. <laughs> Who's is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousins. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. Okay, that's uh, I guess that's the true story. I mean, <laughs> there's no contradictions yeah. there. Not much to say. Uh, I can't ask her about a screwdriver because he <laughs> stole it. Of course, why would he ask them if he stole it? It isn't worth asking about <laughs> a screwdriver. Don't tell Oxford me what's bottles. worth it. Let's go. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I I don't know. She doesn't know that she. I mean, she doesn't know that he makes brew. Yeah, that's yeah. sauce. Okay. Have you ever tried Simon's home brew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. That's contradictory. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? The box of old bottles and so she knows he makes home brew, but then. Nope. No? Bottle belongs to Simon, only drinks. Only. Nope. Why is that not contradictory? If she doesn't know what the bottles are for, but then knows he makes homebrew? Maybe <laughs> maybe she doesn't really care much because she doesn't drink it. I mean, she doesn't drink it, so she doesn't really care what he's doing with the bottles. Maybe. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, is that clock thing from the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. really has the tension. That's uh. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I'll, there's I'll no like time on. <laughs> I was looking around my room for a bit. I was like, do I have a clock here? You know what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? What do we ask? So she. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much that we can go on from here. Question. So, so let's say, for example, after this, we talk to somebody else, and uh -huh. they have an answer that contradicts with hers. Can we can we match those? Mm, let's find out. Hold on. Let me go back to Simon. Then okay. we. Ah, uh, that's see. all for the moment. Thank you. Oh, okay. So we're back to Simon now. So. Can you click Simon's homebrew. Yeah, it's just his... So we only get his answer. So I guess we only can contradict the person that we are talking to. We can't contradict like two different people. Okay. Maybe as we find out more from other people, we can then contradict what they say here. Yeah, probably. So hold on, let me just see then. Uh, I mean, I, I guess there's nothing else that we can... No, go I doubt it. Kate often seemed drunk at this. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true, but it... There's nothing to contradict that. Yes. No. I guess not. I mean, I assume it, if it contradicts that, there's going to be a some kind of something. A sign, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right. Be back it. later on, if that's okay. <laughs> this guy's. If this guy's in the window for Emma, Simon always answers the front door. 
So Emma's in the front room, so best knock on the window for her. Why? Why? Why don't you just walk through the door? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, so creepy. Maybe go inside the house like a normal human being. Yeah. Alright, so where are we now? Okay, so the body was found here. That's Atlas. I think, I mean, instead of fast travel, we should probably just travel, like, um... Through the roads. Through the roads, yeah. Find. In case there's, like, a magnifying glass that comes up. Uh, let's go back up North Road, since we're already closer to that side. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Village uh, centre, go right along right the path. path. Sure. Edenton Village Hall. Dead and, oh, magnifying glass. Yes. Always oh. nice to randomly find the key on the floor. Click on the thing. Yeah, okay, we got a key. I'd like to try using this. There's no use for the silver key here. Hold on. Uh, there was a garage, right? Why is the magnifying glass still there? Oh, okay. There's something else. Good spot. Wow. Is this Atlas? Isn't that interesting? Why is that interesting? I think that's that a like promo for Atlas or something, I guess, on the window. You didn't turn here, maybe. Okay. Let's go back to the village, eh? That, uh, I don't think the pub is open, so let's go here. Hold on, let me just try something since we found the key there. Mm-hmm, <laughs> no. Good idea. Nope. nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be yeah. random like for the garage key to just be like down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just dropped in your village hall. Well I mean that wouldn't be so weird, but Uh we head down here then? Yeah. Abbey Farm. Ooh, no, call, the call the chief. Right. Has to get a clue. Let's go further down, right to the end. There's nothing here. No magnifying glass as well. Yeah, nothing here. Um, I guess. Hold on. What is this? Wonder if. Oh wait, this was a clue. Oh man, I I didn't mean to click that. That was a clue. Oh oh damn. It's fine. Let's just uh okay. Let's go back here and then go down the road from there. Continue heading into the woods. Yep. Um. Okay. The body is to the left. I mean, the, the, where they found the body is to the left, so let's go to the right first then. Okay. Uh, nope. No magnifying glass either. Very eerie. Yep. Creepy part. Go the woods. Rosenbaum Lake. Okay. Go to the jetty. Magnifying glass. Looks like a piece of jewelry there. Stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. I have a screwdriver. Yeah, it's Hold true. On. Uh screwdriver, no? Wait, where's my screwdriver? Click to try using this, use the key. See if you can just use the key like There's no, no. use for the silver key. <laughs> oh, why is there no use oh, wait, for the screwdriver? Oh wait, screwdriver here. Come on. Oh no, no. yeah. Is it? Oh, oh yeah 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 it is. Nice. There we go. Oh imagine he drops into the water. <laughs> Interesting. What is that? There I we forensics have checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Now you got your fingerprints all over it, numb <laughs> Imagine if it was like a, you know, that's like a what do you call that? Like the mocking jay, that kind of thing. Yeah. Quick to try using this. Nope. Broken pendant. If you click on it, what does it say? Uh. Nothing. It just says you can't. You can't use the item here. Oh. I'd love it if you clicked on it and just chucked into the water. Well, don't need that. <laughs> okay. I see there's people there, you see that? There's like two I people moving around that. there, yeah, but I can't, there's Very nothing to sus. click. White and red sauce. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go right into the woods. Yeah, we're going towards Atlas, I guess. Oh, I think this maybe this is where the people were? Mm, nope. <laughs> oh, man. This is just a I random part of the woods. <laughs> yeah. Right, Atlas. Atlas. Enter uh, Atlas grounds. Yeah. yeah. We gotta wait for the pub to open anyway. Enter Atlas building. <laughs> Progress. Oh, it's locked. Like key. Later, I think. Oh. Oh wait. Let me try. Can I? 
Do I have the option to try? Can we yes. break it? Uh, drop silver key. No. Screwdriver? <laughs> the <laughs> screwdriver came in handy. <laughs> the screwdriver is going to be the thing that makes us win. Oh, do game. you guys want to try Simon's homebrew? <laughs> <laughs> Can we use that here? <laughs> is that the recipe? Okay, let's okay. head back. So wait, where do we go? Um, go... We found the, the locket. I think we have to go to the pub and like talk to people. Alright. Uh, Wood's Lane. Them. This is uh, Simon and Emma's place, right? Oh wait, should I show that show that pendant to them? Yeah, they click on it, yeah. Yo, it's Emma. Awfully small town. <laughs> She's literally knocking on the window. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay, let me see. Oh, I can't ask her about that. I can ask her about this. Alright. Ever seen this? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like. Uh, that's my old dentist. I gave this to Kate. So Kate oh. would have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewelry, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer. <laughs> That's so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Okay. Freedom necklace. Necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Necklace was an unwanted gift. To Emma, I guess, so that's why she gave it away, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold on. Uh, didn't see Kate very often. She gave it to Kate? No? No, I guess not. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's visit Simon then. Okay, yeah. that's it for now. Thank you. Right, let's... Oh wait, you should ask about the freedom necklace rather than the pendant. But I want to ask him about the pendant, why not? <laughs> <laughs> why are you limiting us? Yeah. <laughs> You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Uh, Kate Wait. won at college and how long did you know her? Three, three months. months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only known Kate for three months. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's in green. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew uh -huh. Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college. No. And you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas. But they were drinking. No. You didn't see yeah. her outside Atlas at all. Um... No, no, <laughs> not at all. Oh, okay. I just got achievement. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. What? Okay, I wanted to contradict him one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that bastard. 